Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with Service Now. I just thought of showing you the glimpse of uh, the way to create ServiceNow incident with the help of REST web service from an external web page. And I have used Python in this. You must have seen uh, my another video where I have uh, created incident in ServiceNow with the help of REST web service, uh, but that was written in JavaScript. So I used the HTML page and I, I have written that code, the backend code in JavaScript. But in this video, I was just trying to uh, create a web page with Python. Uh, so this is, as you can see on the screen, this is the PyCharm. That is the editor. PyCharm is the Python editor which I'm using. And you can see I have written some codes. So if you are familiar with Python, that you will be able to understand. So I'm not going to train you the Python or how exactly you do that. If you want to learn, so I would recommend if you can just post the comments. If I would see uh, more than 10 comments in the video, I will definitely show you that how exactly uh, you can just create the script and create the web page and uh, do whatever you want. So uh, let's let's uh, take a look. So this is the Python scripting. Uh, Python, I have written a code here. Uh, the page which I have created, you can see this is the two pages, HTML pages I have created. So let me take you to the page which I have created. Uh, the one is this, it says, just says, hello Gaurav. Um, this is just a home page which I created just to learn Python. Then I thought, okay, let's try to do something else. Um, so in Python, there's a, a module called G Django Framework. That's what I have used to create the portal, uh, the page which I am talking about, HTML page. Uh, now, what I have, I, I thought, let's let's do some testing uh, for Python. Uh, so what I did, I just created a page, and if you will click on this page, you will see this particular page. And what it does, it's just just kind of test uh, the API of ServiceNow. Uh, as of now, I have used the incident table API. And if you will uh, use that endpoint, then you will be able to create the incident. I will show you that those configuration, the way I, exactly I have written those, um, those uh, settings, basically configurations in the scripting. Uh, so what I will do, I will just give the name of the uh, URL which I need. That is the name of the instance. If I go to uh, this, I think, let me just log into my instance. So this is my instance name. What I will do, I will just put the instance name here and it automatically uh, says that you can see it says do not put complete URL so if I put the instance name and now I put the username and the password for my rest account as of now I'm just using uh, admin username and the password uh, this as of now is saying post but I'm not using anything on this particular field we might use it and you have to do change some coding in the Python uh, this is the request body uh, but before that, let me show you whether it is working or not and how exactly we will uh, check that. If you will click the sign in button, then you will be able to get this response. So let me click on this sign in button. If I am clicking on the sign in button, yep, you can see that we are able to get the incident details in JSON format. And this is the incident number. Let's check if it was created or not in ServiceNow instance. So if I go to the instance, and I go to incident and open. You can see we have this blank and we have, we have this 0018. This is the incident we created. It doesn't have any details because we did not put anything in the request body. We just send the ape, uh, uh, like call to the API and it just created the incident. And that is what it does. But what we can do, we can do something more. And if I go back and I can try to give the short description. So short underscore description. And that will be, this is a demo for YouTube. So I'm just giving this request body. Let's see if, if it makes if it makes the incident or creates the incident in our, in our ServiceNow instance. I'm just going to give the password right here. 
and I'm clicking on sign in. If I click on sign in, so it has created the incident, but let's see if that short description was taken or not. You can also check here. I think we should have short description um, in, in this particular data, which we got. Mm, I think, I yes. So we have this short description uh, and that's, that's called, this is a demo for YouTube. So I'm just sending the request body in JSON format. So if I go back to my instance and I click on open, so 0019 was created and now you can see it also created, this is a demo for YouTube. So anyone who wants to learn Python and uh, or creating a page in Python and wants to create incident in service now with that page, you can do it by this way. So if you really, you really want to learn at how exactly I, I did the coding, please put your comments, comment in my video and I will definitely, if the comments would be more than 10 and the like should also be there because I have to put more efforts just to show you the complete coding. I can still show you the glimpse, but if you want the practical coding, the live coding, then just I just need 10 comments from comments from your end. So I hope you like my video, but before that, let me, let me uh, show you the how exactly I did just to show you the coding part, which I, not the explanation of the coding part, but just to show you that what exactly I did. So if I go to my editor, this is my editor, and you have to do some configuration. You have to install Python, you have to install PyCharm, you have to install Django module as well. And then this is what I have. So you can see I'm just uh, sending, so this is a function. So if you click that uh, sign in button, it, it uh, sends a call and calls this function and I have this URL you can see I have this I'm just creating the URL and I am also uh, putting the username and the password I am putting the headers in JSON and the data which is being sent that is here instant response I'm just getting this data from the payload which I'm mentioning over, over there on, on the portal so this is how it is it is uh, sending the data and creating the incident in ServiceNow and providing the response from ServiceNow instance. So I hope you liked my video. If you really like to know these kind of integrations, please let me know and I will definitely upload those videos. So thanks for watching my video and have a great day.